My new bike has Surly Maloco bars on it, as discussed in the rig review that I did a couple of weeks ago, links above and below. I really like them. They're really comfy, the geometry is great, they take a bar roll really well. What they don't take so well, and what I greatly miss, is my old Topeak Tour Guide bar bag. Me and that bag, we went through some times together. It was the first bit of gear that I ever did a review of. Historians will probably argue that it was the first video on this channel proper, and it was a really good bag. It was big enough that as well as all the usual gubbins, I could have my phone in there on a selfie stick. It was wide enough and deep enough that I could ride with it open without fear of everything bouncing out. And so if something came along that desperately required filming, I could just grab the camera out and do the shot. Equally, if whilst I was doing the shot, I had to take evasive action to avoid cycling off a precipice or crashing into a bus full of orphans or something, I could just throw it back in without having to think too much. So I needed something that ticked all those boxes for the new bike. The first thing I tried was the Surly Adjunct, which is a bag specially designed to fit into the loop of the Maloco bars. So I've also done a review of that, link above and below, but the long and the short of it is that it's a decent bag in certain situations, but it's way too small to do all the things that I wanted it to do. So I did a bit more searching, I did a bit more shopping, and I found what I think is a really good solution. And what I'm going to argue is a better bag if you're looking for something to pair with your Maloco bars. This is the Revelate Designs Egress Pocket. It isn't a Maloco specific bag, but in a minute I will show you how it is a really good match for the Malocos. First off, let's have a little poke around though. You can see straight off that it's got a lot more volume than the adjunct. Uh, inside, it is just a big single compartment. It's got this kind of padded envelope to protect your valuables. This just Velcros in so you can take it out if you want. You'll see it's got a little zip pocket to look after your tiny treasures. And this is completely optional. Um, you don't have to ride with it in, you can leave it out and make a bit more space. I find though that in the Maloco configuration, which I will show you in a minute, it helps to just add a little bit more structure and rigidity to things. So I have always ridden with it in. In terms of construction, it's really simple, really sturdy. It's completely waterproof, which is another plus point over the adjunct. And I really like the fact that it's uh, roll top, partly because this is a lot more robust than a zip, but also because once you unroll it, you've got all this extra depth, which means you can accommodate longer stuff like a selfie stick and that uh, if you hit a few bumps, you've got that extra depth which is going to stop everything bouncing out and scattering across the road. The primary way that the egress is designed to attach to your bike is as an accessory for Revelate Designs bar rolls. I just happen to have a sweet roll here by way of an example. And you can see the sweet roll comes with this harness of um, webbing loops on the front just for you to attach stuff to. This attaches to the main roll with these four clipping points. And the egress just has exactly the same clips on the back of it. So to attach it, all you have to do is unclip the harness and then clip the egress on to the same points. Once it's on, it's on. It's quite a long way out front, but it doesn't affect the steering or anything in any appreciable way that I've noticed. It's very accessible, it's very stable, it doesn't flap around or anything. When you unroll it, it kind of likes to hang forwards and hang open. So it's very accessible, you can get in there one-handed while you're riding very easily. 
but the depth means that you hit a few bumps, everything doesn't come jumping out. It does all the things that you will remember I wanted a bag to do back in the dim, distant pasts, the beginning of this video, all those seconds ago. Next point to think about is what you do if you haven't got a Revelate Designs bar roll. You can still use the egress, it still works fine. All you have to do is on the back, you cinch up the little clippy straps, tidy them up to keep them out of the way. And then it has these additional optional Velcro straps. These go through the little loops on the back of the bag and they just go around your bars wherever they'll fit. There's a third attachment point down the bottom with another optional strap that just pulls everything up tight to your frame. Now this, I assume, works absolutely fine. I haven't actually tried it because with the Malocos set up the way I've got them set up, this doesn't really work. Handily, the egress does fit pretty nicely into the loop of the Malocos, but because it's a bit further forwards, if you attach that third bottom point and cinch it up, it pulls the bottom of the bag towards you, which tips the top of the bag away from you, which crushes it closed against the front bar of the loop. So what I found, actually, is that that bottom attachment point isn't really necessary. I've just been riding with it hanging in the loop from those two Velcro straps, and it's pretty good. It does tend to tilt a little bit forwards, which means it tends to want to lie closed instead of open, which isn't perfect for what I want it for. But what I found is you can hack this a little bit by putting a loop of paracord from one of the horns of the Maloco around through that bottom closure loop of the egress and then back and attaching it with a friction hitch you can lift all the weight up on the front and this makes it sit much more vertically and sit much more open and be much more accessible one-handed whilst you're riding. This is just, I don't know, 15 inches of paracord maybe. I've got a bowline on one end, I've got a Faramond friction hitch on the other so it's super quick to undo if you need to get it off and that leads nicely into the final point about this bag which I would like to show you. It is really easy to clip on and off the bike which is another thing that the Surly adjunct wasn't. This is cool because if you're touring solo, which I usually am, and you need to go into a shop to resupply or whatever, this can be the bag that you keep your phone, your wallet, your camera, your passport, your money, all that kind of stuff in. And when you have to leave the bike untended, you can just unclip it, whip it off, and take it in with you. If you're doing a massive shop and you need both hands free, then you can use the final little extra additional strap to turn it into a rather lovely man bag. So that's that. My quick review of the Revelate Designs Egress Pocket. I really like it. It's really well made, it's really usable. Um, compared to the Surly Adjunct, it's got loads more space. It's loads more useful when you're not on the bike. It's much more waterproof, and yet it costs about the same. I think they were both about 60 quid. So I hope that was maybe useful to you if you're in the market for a little front bag, if you're a Maloco user. Um, yeah, I hope you've liked and subscribed. I hope you come back for more rides and more reviews in the not too distant future. And I hope that I will see you all again very soon somewhere in the forest.